Hello friends, welcome to another video on account assignment category configuration. In our last video, we saw some of the configurations related to account assignment category. In this video, we'll move further and we'll discuss other configurations which are part of the account assignment category configuration. So we'll go to the T code OME9. Let's open one of the account assignment category. Let's open cost center. So in our last video, we saw the checkboxes account assignment changeable and account assignment changeable at IR. These two configurations we discussed. So let's move further. So let's move to the next checkbox that is the derive account assignment. Now what does this checkbox mean? Whenever you enter a GL account in the account assignment category details in your purchase order line item, if you have configured automatic determination of the cost object, that is the cost center, if those details you have configured, then those cost objects will be determined automatically. Okay, those will be derived. Now this automatic derivation happens from another T code. The T code is OKB9. Let me just show you. The T code is, I'll just go to the T code, OKB9. If you go to this T code, you can see that against a company code and a cost element, you can maintain default cost center, default profit center and default order. Okay, so you can, you can see like for the company code 1710 and this particular cost element, this particular cost center has been maintained as a default cost center. Now if you enter this GL account in your account assignment details in your purchase order, then and if you want that this particular cost center gets derived automatically, then your account assignment category checkbox against derive account assignment should be ticked. That is if you tick this particular checkbox, then the default cost center or other details which you have maintained in OKB9 against the GL account or the cost element will be derived automatically. Let's test that. So I'll just click this checkbox and click on save. Now let us create a purchase order. So again, we'll go to ME21N. Okay, we'll enter the header details. So let us enter those details. Then we'll enter our account assignment category K, then the item the quantity now let's enter a GL account I'll take the GL account from this configuration okay B9 so we'll go to this configuration. Let's take this GL account. As you can see, this GL account is connected to the default cost center 17101602. Let's see whether this cost center gets derived automatically or not. So I'll enter this GL account here. And I'll press enter. So you can see here, this cost center got automatically derived. Where from it got derived? It got derived from the configuration OKB9. But this derivation has happened because in the account assignment category configuration, I have ticked this particular checkbox. Now let's see if I switch off this checkbox, if I deselect it and save. And let us create the PO again. Let's see that whether the cost uh, center gets derived automatically or not. So we'll again go to ME21N. Let's enter some details here. Now let's enter the same GL account again and let's see whether the cost center gets derived automatically or not. So I'll enter the same GL account here and I'll press enter. So you can see the cost center did not get derived. Although this particular cost center is maintained in the transaction code OKB9 against this GL account, 
but this particular cost center did not get derived automatically while I was creating the purchase order. This is because I have deselected this checkbox in the account assignment category details. If I go to the configuration, this particular checkbox becomes important if I want to automatically derive the cost center or other details connected to the GL account through the T code OKB9. Okay, so this particular checkbox has that significance. We have tested that. Now let's move on to the next checkbox. This particular checkbox is important when you are posting delivery cost against your purchase order line item. Let's say that you have some delivery costs like freight charges in your purchase order and then you are doing the GR. Now these freight charges will also get posted against the same GL account which you are posting the main line to. That is the material line you will be posting to the GL account. The same GL account these delivery costs will also get posted. If you want a separate line in the accounting document against that particular delivery cost, then you have to click this particular checkbox. Let us see that. So I'll just save this configuration now. Now you have this checkbox deselected. Let's go to the purchase order. Let's enter a cost center here. So I'll enter the same cost center. And I'll enter a delivery condition here. So let's enter some freight charges. You can see I have entered a freight charge here and let's save this purchase order. So you can see the basic price is 1000 and 50 is the freight charges. So total is 1050. Let's save this PO. Now let's do the GR. So I'll just copy this purchase order. And we'll do the GR. And this time I'll do for the full quantity. So let's post for 10 quantity. Now let's see the financial document posted against this particular GR. Now if we see this particular accounting document, you can see that 1050 got posted in a single line against this particular GL account which was entered in our purchase order line item against the account assignment. If I go to the purchase order again, let's go to the purchase order. Let me just open a purchase order in a separate screen. So you can see in the account assignment, this GL was there. So against this GL, the whole value that is 1000 in the, in the net price and 50 for the freight charges, 1050 got posted in a single line. The GRIR and the freight clearing got posted separately. That, that's because of another configuration related to the freight condition. But this particular consumption posting that happened against this particular GL happened through a single line. That is 1050 added to a single line against this particular GL account. Now let's activate the checkbox in the account assignment category detail and see how the difference happens. So I'll again go to the cost center and I'll select this checkbox, post delivery cost separately and I'll save this. Okay, now we'll create the purchase order or let's add a new line item in this particular purchase order only. So I'll just copy this and I'll just create for 10 quantity. Let's see the condition. It has a freight charge or not. Okay, it has the freight charges. Now let us save this purchase order. Now we'll do the GR for item number two. That is the second item. Now let's do the GR. I'll do for the second item. I'll do for the full quantity. So remember, 1000 is there against the net price, that is the basic price, and 50 is for the freight. Last time, this 1050 got posted in a single line against the GL account. Let's see what happens now. So I'll post this document. Now let's see the financial document which got posted. So we'll go to FI documents and let's open this accounting document. Now you see here 
you have thousand posted against this GL account and fifty also posted against the same GL account. This time for freight charges separately and the basic price separately. So this is the significance of that checkbox that if you are posting a delivery condition and if you want separate line for the delivery condition to be posted, then you have to have that checkbox activated in the account assignment category configuration. So you see the cost center got captured, the GL account also got captured, but these two amounts were posted separately in two different lines. Let's see the previous document also. So I'll just go to the, uh, the purchase order and for the first item we'll see the accounting document. So I'll go to purchase order history and I'll open this 101 document and we'll see the financial document. So you can see 1050 got posted in this cost center in GL in a single line. Okay, so you cannot bifurcate how much was there for the basic price and how much was for the freight from the consumption posting, the debit posting. Okay, but this time you can divide these two lines and check how much debit posting happened against the basic price and how much debit posting happened against the delivery cost. So this is the significance of this particular checkbox that if you activate this checkbox, let me just show you again. If you activate this checkbox and then do the GR, that is the second GR, the subsequent GR which we did for the second item, you will have separate line posted for the delivery cost. Okay. And how does SAP understand that this is a delivery cost? So you can just go to the delivery condition. Let me just go to the purchase order. So I'll go to the purchase order. And if you go to the conditions tab and just select this FRA1, and go to the details. So you can see here the condition category is delivery costs. So this is how system understands that this is a delivery cost. And if you have that configuration in the account assignment category, then any condition for which delivery cost is the condition category, the value for such condition will get posted in a separate line. And because it has accruals also, you can see here, so you can have a different vendor also. We'll be discussing what is accruals and how you can post delivery costs in a separate vendor in our subsequent sessions. But this is the significance of this particular checkbox in the account assignment category detail that if you select this checkbox, then the delivery cost will get posted separately. So that much for today. I hope that you have liked my previous videos also. I'll be posting more videos on this account assignment category configuration. I hope that you are liking my video. If you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.